Hi, welcome to the Heuristic of the Month video. You can't manage what you can't measure. Have you ever tried to decide on a big purchase without ever looking at your bank balance? You mean like when I bought that jet ski? Would you consider driving your car on a long trip without your gas gauge working? Well, probably not again. And how would you feel if your doctor recommended medication for hypertension, but had never actually taken your blood pressure? That would be weird. In each of those examples, we seek to make informed decisions. Informed means you have information. Information means you have data. And data means that some measurement process has occurred. So I wouldn't want to be making gut decisions in those cases. Exactly. It's important to weigh the data and manage the outcome. So, if you want to manage something, you have to measure it first. Yes, but we want to be careful to not just try to measure the things that are easiest. How do you mean? So, things like staff caseload, length of stay in care, attendance in therapy sessions, those are important metrics, sure, and they're relatively easy to measure. But the number of therapy sessions someone attends isn't actually the goal of our work. Exactly. In TCOM, we see our work as defined by transformation of the people we serve. And so it's critical that we find ways to measure the things that really can and will change. Okay, but sometimes I'm not sure about what I'm measuring. It's easier to just use length of stay and care or something like that because those are simple values and I understand them. Painting an accurate picture of a real human being isn't easy. But let me try to help by adding a second part to this heuristic. You cannot measure what you cannot define. If you can't define the transformational goals of your work, you can't measure them, so you can't manage them. This challenge has led some researchers to emphasize objective measures of change, like status at discharge from care. Unfortunately, in most situations, personal change is a lot more complicated than that. Transformations are inherently subjective processes. Okay, so you're saying that we're trying to measure and manage and to find something that's objective. Yep. But isn't that impossible? No, that's TCOM. And we do it all the time in the real world. Ever watch the Olympics? Sure, yeah. Diving, figure skating, gymnastics, the one with horses I can never pronounce. All of those sports are measuring subjective information. Each one is judged by human beings making subjective calls. Each sport found a way to turn those judges' opinions into data points, and then to use that data to manage decisions. And closer to home, I use subjective data to make management decisions all the time. I have three kids. One loves all things chicken, the other just wants pizza, and the third only eats food in soup form. I have to assimilate all that subjective information and then manage the outcome. What did you decide? Leftovers. That feels like cheating. I call it surviving. The point is, if our work is about personal change, then we have to measure subjective constructs. That's how we'll define personal change. The TCOM tools are designed to allow us to create consensus understanding of the transformations in people's stories. The items represent the relevant needs and strengths that describe the well-being of people seeking help. The tools are measures of people's subjective stories. If we're successful at helping, people's stories will change. We can measure that. You can't manage what you can't measure. That's the TCOM heuristic of the month. We want to celebrate members of the TCOM community who have put these heuristics into action. Have a story that highlights measuring before you manage? Send us a message and let us know. We'd love to feature your story in a future video.